For two or three years now, we have seen many changes in the way that irons are put together and mainly they've become stronger lofted. And that's caused a big debate amongst the traditionalists who are slightly offended is a big word to use, but uh, certainly put out by the fact that loft has meant that the only changes in iron technologies, they go further because they're stronger lofted. And to a certain degree, that is true. But I've argued for the last two or three years, there are other things that you need to take a little bit of a closer look at before you base your iron decision or your purchasing irons. Don't be put off by strong lofted irons because of that one factor because there are many other things that contribute to the performance of the club. And in this video, I'm gonna look at two irons, two very, very recent irons. One is the Mizuno JPX 921 Forge. The other is the TaylorMade P770. One is lofted at 31 degrees, one is lofted at 33 degrees. They're both gonna have exactly the same shaft fitted into these heads, and I'm gonna collect some data. What do you expect to see in terms of that data Comments down below right now. What's going to be the major difference between the two? video was a very simple head-to-head -head and it was to look at the performance of the two irons that I've mentioned in a straightforward head-to-head, -head, um, analyse my data and see, at least in my case, which I would have preferred and uh, that video has gone out and you, you all know the results of that. But when I was looking at the data, there were some glaring um, standout issues for me that were slightly contradictory to what I would have expected to see. And that's why I'm sat here today and I want to share that information with you. And some of you may have picked up on that information last week, um, but I didn't really emphasize it enough. And I think that's why we need to have a closer look at those numbers. And what are those telltale signs and why yet again, I've seen further proof there is a lot more to the performance of a club and its characteristics in terms of performance. How a ball gets from A to B is uh, a lot more than just the number on the bottom in terms of the loft that it says it is. There are far more characteristics that go into performance than just loft. And I, want, I hope that people with the numbers you're gonna see, because believe me, they're coming up very, very shortly, will finally dismiss that argument that loft just purely relates to distance. Yes, it impacts on it, but there are many other contributing factors that are built into these irons why the lofts have to be stronger than they used to be, why CG placements has made such a difference, why launch conditions have changed. And when you see the numbers, and don't forget, we've got two degrees separating these two clubs. It's a no brainer to suggest that at the beginning of the video, when I asked the question, surely all of you must have said that one is gonna go further than the other. And that doesn't happen. That's again pretty much what we've seen. Great high launching ball. That's the P770 by the way. Um, what I can tell you is there's still a glaring difference between the two clubs and if you didn't see last week's video uh, or oh, a bit of a spoiler alert, the major difference for me is the forged iron of the uh, GPX has got far better feel than that of the P770. But here's this data. As you can see, I want you to carefully look at these numbers. I'll throw each of them up individually. And now what you're also going to see then, I'm just going to take those averages and put them side by side. I've never seen a set of numbers which are so similar. Um, and they're similar in a good way in the sense that my club head speed remained the same and consistent throughout. So then you look at kind of ball speeds, nothing to separate them whatsoever. Look at the, ba look at the spin number. And, and again, those kind of variables you're talking about, those are variables in my swing rather than the performance of the club. Launch angle very very similar again no difference and then you've got that carry distance which again is virtually inseparable and again 
all of the differences that you'll find, arguably, like I said, will be down to the different striking variables between shot for shot that I hit. So for me, never have I ever seen a more clearer and definitive set of numbers that tell me that I had the same shaft, two different club heads, and the numbers were identical, even though there was such a major difference of two degrees in terms of the loft. Do we need anything more to prove to those doubters out there that the idea that strong lofted irons are just a pure negative on them is an absolute load of nonsense? Oh, feel that one the Zuno though. Well, there's where there's a difference. And that's a key, I'll end it there. The key is you find your own preferences in terms of what you like, in terms of what you like, in terms of profile, in terms of what you like, in terms of visuals, what you like in terms of feel. But please, don't ignore things just based on ignorance. And I feel that's what it's down to. Right, I'm off. See you later.